Anti-passback stops users from passing their tokens back to another person who may want to gain access. It's also a great way to keep the roll call report accurate. Let's first look at logical anti-passback. For this demonstration, the Net2 entry panel is acting as our in reader and the marine reader is acting as the out reader. Incidentally, not all types of anti-passback require readers on both sides of the door. A user can enter or leave an area by badging on the readers as much as they like. However, they cannot re-enter the area until they have left the area. Logical anti-passback is typically used on turnstiles, at sports clubs, or in gyms. Timed anti-passback can be used with free egress such as an exit button, induction loop, or sensor. It will let a user enter an area but not let them re-enter that area for a set period of time. The time period needs to be long enough to stop someone from loitering but not too long to cause inconvenience. For instance, on a car park barrier, a user can drive into the car park. They cannot now let an unauthorized person into the car park using their FOB. Their FOB will now not allow entry for a set amount of time, perhaps 30 minutes. Timed logical anti-passback combines the best of both worlds. A user can leave and return as much as they like, but if they try to re-enter or pass their FOB back, it will be denied entry for a set amount of time. This can help stop tailgating, but not cause too much of an inconvenience if people accidentally tailgate out of an area. With all anti-passback rules, you can set a reset time so that users who forget to badge out perhaps at the end of the day can still get into work without hassle the next morning. Anti-passback helps tackle tailgating and passing fobs back. It keeps reports accurate whilst being flexible to users who accidentally tailgate out of the building. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to know more information then please get in touch. Thank you for watching.